The relationship I have with my coach is really comfortable. I don't really see him as like an adult that intimidates me or that I can't go to. I can go to Ben for anything. Ben is always, always there. And he's very supportive. And any questions that I may have, he's always there to answer it. My coach is great. He's, he's like one of the amazing person I've ever met in my life. Like, he's willing to help you out with like everything, everything. Like, whatever question you have, you'll go to him and he'll answer. Like, I remember this one incident where I called him up like nine o'clock to ask him a question. He was willing to answer it. Ever since we met, um, he's helped me with stuff outside of school, with schoolwork, helped me talk to teachers, or more than me too low, talk to teachers instead of just like wanting to drop out the class, but try to understand the teacher and so forth on. And like being motivated to go talk to my mom and be able to get certain information because if I don't get the information, there's certain things I can't do. Um, in order to get to college, I knew that I didn't know exactly what the, what the college process was, but I knew that there was a lot involved. We have a lot of programs um, that come into the building to help support our kids who, who want to improve their college readiness. Mission Possible is one. And I know with Upward Bound, the kids spend like a, um, a six-week summer actually attending college classes on site. Um, and then we have, you know, what we call home-based programs. Our Central Minority Education Program finds tutors for kids who need help, especially in, in um, honors level classes. And we try to make sure that um, kids who are intending to go to college make sure that they get into these honors level classes. One of the things that's really surprising is that low income kids don't perform on the standardized tests like the SAT or the ACT in a way that you would predict based on their academic ability. So we spend about 16 weeks in their junior year helping them prepare for the ACT exam and we've had great success there too. Our, our students have seen their ACT scores increase by about 20 percent from the beginning of our program to the final uh, exam, which is really important to getting into college because college it's one of the things colleges do look at and it helps us level the playing field for low-income kids. Because colleges look at test scores, colleges look at GPAs, colleges want to have uh, an essay that's well written, activities and resume that's well thought out, and so if they students don't know how to do that, they maybe have everything, they just don't know how to put it on paper or how to present that to an institution, they're going to be overlooked in that process. In relation to the ACT, um, we learn specific strategies on how to answer things, even when you didn't know the answer, there are strategies to, um, I guess, increase your percentage to, or your chances to get the right answer. And knowing that um, my peers didn't know that made me more appreciative of, of being in a, a really good college prep program. The sessions that we had, you know, that we went through every day, stuff like that, helped us, helped me a lot and uh, get feedback, you know, like from my fellow students too at the same time, you know, like whatever problems I can solve, either, you know, like my coach or my uh, fellow students you know like help me with and uh, improve my score really well. It definitely made a difference because once they took the second or the third and the fourth you know prep test you know you could definitely see the improvement. The numbers didn't really mean that much to me because the relationship that I built um, being a part of this program helped the confidence in me taking the test and allowing me to see okay regardless of what the number is I know that I've learned how to take a national wide test. What Augsburg has done is really tried to make the money not be a main factor. So we've created scholarships for students that are in college readiness programs, uh, giving a baseline of scholarship, but then students that meet certain academic criteria can get up to full tuition so that students can take that out of the equation for the obstacle, the barrier to access a private education. A program that I work on at the University of Minnesota is a junior and senior high guidance program called Ramp Up to Readiness. And so we take our name for the program, Ramp, and uh, we use it as a device to sort of summarize what uh, we think the research shows kids need. So the R in ramp is rigor. We know that you can't provide students with the academic low road um, and that actually you really need to make sure that not only are they challenged but they're supported. Um, and so they need programs like AVID and they need uh, opportunities to take the advanced coursework um, that they might not be admitted to without additional support. So the R is rigor. The second is access. Um, you have to have a way to help students and families um, navigate the complete divide 
which is very different from some other countries that exist in the U.S. between high school and higher education. It's a cliff, and we leave it to the kid and the family um, to navigate it, and so we need to have um, access programs. That's one of the things that Admission Possible, which is nonprofit based here in the cities, um, does extraordinarily well. At Travelers, we've developed a program called Travelers Edge, empowering dreams for graduation and employment. And the idea is that we're working with partners of colleges and universities and community-based organizations to build a pipeline into college, through college, and into successful careers, hopefully here at Travelers, but also within our industry and for the good of the broader community as well. We partner with the University of Minnesota Carlson School of Business and Metro State uh, University. We also partner with nonprofit organizations, Admission Possible and the Page Education Foundation, so that we're covering the full range of opportunity from students from middle to high school into and through college. The third piece is the M is motivation. Um, we know kids have the aspiration to go on, but there's a growing sense that one of our challenges, especially if your goal is not just to get a kid into college, but to make sure they earn a degree, is motivation, the ability to really um, really have a clear vision of why I'm doing this that can, can compel you to uh, handle the tough stuff. And then the final is P, persistence. Um, it really is that ability to stick to uh, what you're doing through uh, boredom and through difficulty. To be honest, I probably would be married, you know, starting my family at a very young age if it wasn't for this program. And with, because of this program, I was able to um, be very independent because that's what college life is about. You really can't start too early. Um, there's programs that help uh, kids in the early elementary years begin to think about college. And it goes back to the psychological problem. If you're a low-income person and no one in your family has ever gone to college, you've never really been on a college campus, and it scares you or it's intimidating to you, um, Anytime you can get a kid onto a college campus so they begin to see themselves in that, in, in that kind of environment, that's transformative. And so it can be everything from if you're a part of a college or part of a college town, encouraging young people um, to experience it, to be on the campus, to imagine themselves in a place like that. It's as simple as having people realize that, it's, that they belong there, that they could do this. Um, from the earliest stages, wh whatever the opportunity is uh, to take on a field trip, to expose young people to the, the experience, not take for granted that everybody gets that that can work. The challenges in getting every kid ready to complete a post-secondary credential or degree are gigantic, but there is absolutely positively and completely solid, hard-headed reason to think we can do it, especially here in Minnesota where we have this extraordinary commitment to education, this incredible network of higher ed institutions, a very strong K-12 system, we really have the potential to bridge this gap between high school and higher education. My advice to other students would be um, to take risks. Take risks and work really hard and, and you'll be rewarded. I like to say everything and anything is possible. Um, you just have to have your priorities straight. I would say, you know, like spend your time wisely, just Apply for everything and you would be surprised, do you know, like where you go? College is Possible is a co-production of Admission Possible, helping promising low-income students prepare for and earn admission to college, and TPT's Minnesota Channel. Funding has been provided by Travelers Foundation and the McKnight Foundation.